How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me again on tea. I'm gonna taste this jambalaya first. Let's just go ahead on and cook. Get the part of the chicken that I like. Turtle stew, come here, boy. Mm. You know how it looks good? This is going to be good, our general tea. I talk to it like it knows what I'm talking about. I like it, it's good. I believe in easy cooking, believe me, I do. How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. And I've got some things I've got to do here. I think I'm doing right. Yeah. I've started making this roux. You got to make a roux when you're going to cook anything that's worth a doggone or Cajun, say, or worth a damn, whatever, you know? <laughs> and uh, I got to put this roux the way I can get it going, where I can put all these things in it. And in here, I'm going to finish a turtle stew. Now, if you've never eaten turtle meat, you really haven't ever lived real good, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> now, into this roux that's, that's most cooked, because it takes a long time to cook a roux and get it that pretty, and that's a pretty roux. See that shine? That's when you know it's done. You look in there and see yourself in there like a mirror. You really can. So what I'm gonna do is get this kind of hotted up a little bit and put some onion in there and cook them until they're more or less uh, transparent till they till they're done, actually. And uh, might just as well start with these onions right now, because they'll add a little juice to this. Hands are clean, washed them yesterday. <laughs> All right, now, onion, let's get mixed up in this beautiful brown roux we got. We want a nice dark brown roux for turtle stew. Uh, I like turtle stew with a light root or a dark root. It'll make a difference, just so I got the turtle to put in it, you know? <laughs> and when, you, when, when you're cooking, when you add anything, always stir. You stir every time you add anything, so you keep it mixed right. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Get this thing mixed right, and it's coming along, too. I ain't going there. Get this going. And when I get all of this going, I'll put something in this pot. Better be nothing in there, that's all I had to say. <laughs> oh, that's coming along good, coming along good. Into this, that's three cups of onions that I put in there, chopped onion. This is a cup of bell pepper. Put that in there. And stir. You got to stir. Every time you add anything, stir. Oh, yeah, that's coming along. Beautiful, very beautiful. I guarantee. Whoo, hoo, boy. Get over there. I did. Now, this is a cup of green onion. Stir. It just keeps, it, it, this keeps me, without having to take exercise, stirring roots and things like that. Mm-hmm. Parsley. That's a cup of chopped parsley. Look at that, I left some bell pepper in there. Onions, green onion. Chopped parsley. Parsley has a wonderful flavor, and it's very good for you. They tell me. I'll eat it for both times. I need anything that's good for me. A lot of things it ain't, so it's fun though. Oh boy. When I get this going good, I'm gonna make a blueberry cobbler. And I love blueberries, I really do. I love cobbler made out of anything. I make it out of apple, anything I've got. Peaches, apricots, any kind of good fruit. Strawberries, strawberries make good, they really do. Ah, that's looking good, looking good. Now what I got to do while I'm letting this cook a little bit is remove this, put it right there, and put some water in there. It better be water. Now this is about 10 cups of water. 
I'm pouring in there. Mm-hmm. And into that, I'm going to put, I have to put a fire on it. I've got to put a fire on that. That's too high. You put that on a medium fire, a medium low. And I got about a cup and a half, I think, of good wine, dry white wine. I'm going to put that on there. Let me put that heat up a little bit. Let me put that heat up just a little bit. I'm doing it. Put this one up a little bit. Oh, y'all are doing good. I just hate to bother you, but I got to. Mm -hmm. You know, that? see that flat spoon? That's got that way of making rules. <laughs> and into this, I'm going to pour some water. Plain water to be sure that roux is going to be smooth, smooth. It's going to be smooth, though. And I'm most probably going to put a little salt in it. But in this, I'm putting soy sauce. But you got to be careful. If you put soy sauce, it's very salty. You got to wait and taste it. Got a tasting spoon, you know. And uh, oh, that roux coming along all right. I might just well put the rest of the water in there, though. Not all of it right now. That's coming along fine. Come on, little boy. Hot up a little bit and get those onions the way they look like they're done, even they may not be. Now, into this water and wine, I'm going to put about three tablespoons full of soy sauce. Now, I've got water in this. I never put garlic in anything, chopped garlic until I have some liquid, because garlic, if you put it in just grease, it, it doesn't, doesn't have any flavor. Can't even tell it's garlic. You can tell it's something, but you, you lose the good flavor of garlic, and it's so good for you. You're looking at a healthy man on account of garlic, I can tell you. <laughs> I love it. I'd make garlic sandwich, just, just delight in it, I really do. Oh, right there. You're coming along fine, Rue. I like you a lot. Now into this, I got a, a teaspoonful of dried mint. I use mint instead of bay leaf because it doesn't, it won't uh, flavorize, it doesn't taste like mint. It just helps help increase the flavor of anything you're cooking. Boy, now this is getting hot, I'm gonna turn you down a little bit. Now, that takes care of it. But that mint has a flavor that doesn't Kill the flavor of everything else, you know? I don't like things to do that. Now this right here is a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon. Squoze just a little bit ago. Put that in there. And I got to stir that. I violated one of my own rules. Put that there. Go ahead. Get that going good there. Now, over here, I've got a little turtle meat. I've got just about, oh, I would say, about three to four, about a little bit over four pounds. And I'm going to tell you, that turtle, now my hands are clean. I washed them yesterday. Put this in here. Turn that fire up a little bit. Got it. We'll get all this to going good. That is beautiful turtle meat. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. I cut that up myself help clean that turtle, caught in Louisiana waters. Very fine Cajun turtle, ain't no question about that. I've seen people, when they clean a turtle, instead of skinning it like we did, like I believe in, I believe in skinning it, they take hot water and just use that and say that was good enough. Well, that's not good enough for me. I like to skin it because it's better to do it. Well, come here to me. Where are you trying to hide like that? Gotcha. Thank goodness for my dish towel, you hear? Now we'll stir that in there. But I'm going to turn the fire up and get that going pretty good. Oh, man, that I do. 
I'm gonna put potatoes in this because my good friend Junior Monteleon says it belongs in there. I never had made a turtle stew with potatoes before in my life, but I did. And you know, it tastes good. It really do. And I think he knew what it is. I think his daddy told him that that's why. Yeah, now we got that just like we want it. You going just like I want you. And oh, yep, that turtle, those, those onions have gotten clear. And I can turn this fire off. I turn the right fire off, all right. And I'd put this roux in there and stir it around. I'm gonna get this over the. Come in. <laughs> Come over there. Now we'll use a bigger spoon to get this roux mixed into this other water that we got here. I'm gonna put potatoes in it too. Hmm. And then I'm gonna start making a blueberry cobbler. And I love bluebird. I love cobblers. I really do. I make mine a little different than most people. I found out they come out tasting good, so I kept making them like that. A little more simple, too. It's easier cooking. I believe in easy cooking. Believe me, I do. Come on now. Stir that a little bit. Yeah, you're looking good, boy. Ha, <laughs> ha. I'll eat some of this, I guarantee. Hmm. Ain't that pretty? Well, for not, I, I enjoyed watching this so much, I forgot to tell you all about it. This is the, the roux that I made earlier. And you know how you make a roux with oil and flour, plain flour, no, no self-rising. You may have something rolled up to the ceiling in your, in your room <laughs> to use that self-rising flour. You get this stirred in there good. Mmm, mmm. You don't want that meat sticking to the root, and you don't want the root sticking to the meat. Because if it does, it'll spread that flavor like you should. All right, now, we want to get all that in there we possibly can because I made it to go in there, and we're going to get it all in there, too. And this, we can make, you can make this uh, turtle stew different from this if you want to. You can make your roux in, in a pot like that and add the meat, kind of fry it down a little bit in the meat you want to. Some people parboil that, that turtle meat. I don't. In fact, this recipe says parboil it, and I, and I wrote that in there, and I erased it. So I don't, I don't parboil turtle meat. It doesn't need parboiling. Now, stir that. Whew. I got to tell you all a quick little story while I'm stirring this. I, I was, this happened on an airplane that I was on one time, and it was, there was a Cajun on it, never been on an airplane before. And his ears began to hurt him a little bit there and had a nice little flight attendant. And she said, something's the matter with you, mister? She said, he told her, my, my ears are just killing me. Oh, she said, I'll give you some gum. So she gave him some chewing gum. And just as the flight landed, he put on his belt there, his light, and she came and said, what's the matter, something wrong? He said, would you mind telling me how I'm gonna get this gum out of my ear? <laughs> That's good, that's looking good. I'm gonna remove this pot from out of my way and I'm gonna put the potato in there and then I'm gonna go over there and start on that. Beautimus, beautimus little uh, blueberry cobbler. I love cobbler, any kind. I'm gonna use my hands, they're clean. Now these are chopped just the right size, you notice? Hmm. And I'm going to taste this in my tasting spoon for salt. I think it may need a little salt. Even though i got three tablespoons full of uh, soy sauce in this, I think this is going to need a little more salt. Get this spoon to get this spoon to get something to see if I can taste it for salt. Need some salt. You know, I could smell that until it needed salt, you know that? I'm not gonna put much salt in it, just a couple of teaspoons full. 
and that's a teaspoon. And I know there's some doubting Thomasinas out there. <laughs> they don't believe I'd measure a teaspoon full of salt in my hand. But I just want you to take a good look at that. Is that in a teaspoon full? That's it. I'm gonna put another teaspoon just like that in there. <laughs> and stir. Put this right stir. I think it needs a little hot sauce in there. Cayenne pepper to taste. This is cayenne pepper. This to taste, my taste. That's just about a teaspoonful. Of, not, it's not quite a teaspoonful of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna put the lid on this and turn my fire down and let it cook while I go take that, fix that butamus, butamus. Let's put this on simmer. That don't look like simmer to me, but nah, it does. Yeah, that's that too simmery. And we got it. I'm going to, to make this cobbler. I got the right one. What do you know about that? In this, I put a stick of margarine. I use margarine instead of butter because it doesn't burn as quickly. It really doesn't. And to me, it tastes just as good. What in the world is blueberry cobbler? I'm gonna make eight to 10 servings, it says here. Gotta turn this around a little bit. This is what I'm gonna put it in, right there, in that. Uh, that's one stick of margarine or, or butter you put in here like that. And you stir that around and melt it down, because we're gonna put a lot of other things in here. For distance in here, I'm gonna put a half a cup no, that's a whole, that's a cup and a half of sugar. I'm gonna melt into this, this margarine. Let's call it butter just for fun, butter. I, I have my recipe when you, I love to create things and I don't ever try to remember them. I keep them and I read them and put them in cookbooks and they come out all right. Now into this, don't you go there, there. you stay right there. Cup and a half of sugar. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Into this sugar. I'm gonna put just a little bit of flour, two tablespoons full of all-purpose flour, some more all-purpose, you know. None of this, uh, I don't want any of this self-rising because I wouldn't know how to measure anything that rises by itself, you know. There's no way for me to do that. That's pretty stuff, pretty stuff. Flour. What did I tell you, how many? That's just about, uh, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna spread it around in there and stir it in. Mm-hmm. Stir that up in now. That handle gets hot to lay there, you know that? It's always good. Mm-hmm. Into this, I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon full of salt. I hate to insult anything with a half a teaspoon, but that's just all the salt you need in this. And believe me, that's a half a teaspoon. I'll be willing to bet anything you want to on it. Now, put that in there like that. Mm. And in come the blueberries. We are gonna put them in there. and stir them a little bit. And we're also gonna put three-fourths cup of brandy. Brandy. <laughs> stir it in there, you let this cook a little bit. Let this cook a little bit. Three 
E4 cup. I got to turn the fire down some. Beat it down to, to low. I want y'all to cook, cook all of the alcohol out of that brandy. That's all I want you to do. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to let that cook while I'm doing something else. I'm going to mix up the topping for this, the crust. Now cook, baby. Go ahead and cook. You look pretty. I can tell you that, but you got to cook. In this bowl, I have some more margarine. Into that, it tells me I got to put, let me put this where I can see it. I got to put uh, three fourths cup of sugar. There it is right there. And I mix it good. Put it all at once, it don't matter. I'm gonna make it dissolve, dissolve itself, got to. Hmm. Make that crust. It goes on there and it's so good. Come on now, get with it. Got to get the motion with it. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's go. Into this, I got to put some flour. One and a half cup of all-purpose flour. Goes in there along with some baking powder. I think it's about a teaspoon, two teaspoons. Oh, no, one teaspoon for the baking powder. That's all it needs. And stir. Hmm. Oh, you kid. You're doing all right. Now into this, I put fruit juice. So I got to put a little salt. I got to put about a three, four teaspoon of salt. We'll measure that carefully too. <laughs> got it in there. Put this in there like that. And put the fruit juice and stir it in good. I use pineapple and apple juice. I mix those two together. And they, they make a very delightful taste in this, in this crust. I'm gonna just stir this up real good. Mm. I'm beginning to want to taste some of this, you know it? And I am. All right, Justin, I believe you are hot enough there, blueberries. I'm gonna pour you in this little, little uh, casserole dish and pour this on top of it. Let it go all the way through it. I have to put you right over here out of my way while I pour this. Turn it off. I'm gonna put this in this casserole dish. Come out of there. Did you hear me tell you to come out of there? You sure did, now we got it. Put that in there and spread it good. Spilled a few on there, I'll eat them later. <laughs> Put that there like that. Put this back there out of my way. And we pour the batter over it. And believe me when I tell you it works. There we go. Get on there and we put it in the oven and cook it till it's batter browns. That's all it is to it, cook. That's the easiest thing in the world. And I'm gonna sit down and taste me some of it. I don't care what anybody says, wrap this minute. Put that there like that. Sit myself down. Come here to me, where are you? There's nothing in the world but a little blueberry cabla. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-hmm, I guarantee. I'm gonna have to use my same spoon to taste this uh, wonderful turtle stew, but I'll lick it real good and then go back in there. Mm. Turtle stew, come here, boy. Turtle meat. Mm, 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 mm. 
Pour a little wine. Yeah, to sip. That's a double sip. Oh man, that's good. Mm. 